Osho. Why is it that in spite of the vast range of subjects that you cover in your talks, perhaps a wider range than any man who has ever lived, whenever I discuss you with press and with any other interested parties, they seem preoccupied with only one subject, sex. I'm reminded of Dr. Johnson. He has made one of the best dictionaries of his times. It was a very big, voluminous book. more than 1,000 pages. And three old ladies reached him, very angry. And they must have been 70, 75, 80. All have glasses. And they said, you are not ashamed of your book. There are three words which are obscene. <laughs> Dr. Johnson said, my God, in a book of 1,000 pages, in which there are thousands of words, how could you manage with such thick glasses <laughs> at this age three obscene words you are great researchers <laughs> you must have been looking for them nobody has objected to me nobody has even mentioned about them I have almost 400 books on my name. I have not written anything, but these are collection of my talks. Out of 400 books, there is only one book on sex. That too is not really on sex. It is basically on how to transcend sex. How to bring the energy of sex to a sublimated state because it is our basic energy. If it can produce life, that is only one thing that we know, but that even animals manage. And scientists say even trees have their own kind of sexuality. So whole existence manages some kind of sexual energy. It is only man who has the privilege to change the character and the quality of sexual energy. The name of the book is from sex to superconsciousness, but nobody talks about superconsciousness. <laughs> the book is about superconsciousness. <laughs> sex is only to be the beginning, where everybody is.